good morning students so today we are going to continue with our chapter number 5 that is the union executive so in the last classes we have talked about the composition of the union executive in which we have talked about the president qualifications of the president how the election is done what are the terms and the powers and functions of the president we have also discussed about the vice president the qualifications the powers and functions uh, the election process and the term for the vice president now continuing with the chapter so today we'll discuss about the prime minister the prime minister of the india is the leader of the lok sabha who is prime minister prime minister is the leader of the lok sabha sare lok sabha ke leader ko leader is the prime minister of the country prime minister of india he or she commands majority amongst the member of the lok sabha the cabinet votes on the guidelines and the meetings of the cabinet so bari cabinet hoti hai like the cabinet ministers they all work under the guidance and the leadership of prime minister he or she is the chief spokesperson of the central government who is the prime minister he or she is the chief spokesperson of the central government the prime minister is considered to be the leader of the nation it is the prime minister who represent our country in the important international and national conferences हमारी जितनी भी नेशनल या इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेस होती हैं इन दोज कॉन्फ्रेंसेस द प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिप्रेजेंट्स द कंट्री सो बेसिकली व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिप्रेजेंटिंग द कंट्री सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट बट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट पासिंग द लॉज एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द पावर्स अगर हम पावर्स की बात करें सो दैट आर मोर इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट एज कंपेयर टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर Again, it is the prime minister who makes the domestic policies of the government. Government की जो भी domestic policies हैं, वो prime minister बनाते हैं. But prime minister treats all the ministers as his colleagues. He consults them in the times of emergency. The personality of prime minister is important. It is the it is at the advice of the prime minister that other ministers may be taken in or dismissed. Prime ministers जो होते हैं हमारे they treat the other ministers as the colleague wo unko apne se chhota nahi samajhte unko apna colleague samajh ke hi unke sath kaam karte they take uh, the prime minister takes the advice from those ministers in the case of emergencies or in any situation they feel like also on the advice of prime minister if prime ministers ask to remove or to take some ministers on the post for the post so the decision is taken so agar prime minister ne bola hai that this minister should be taken or this minister should be uh, dismissed so that will be followed position of the prime minister prime minister is of india is also the leader of lok sabha jo prime minister hote hain he is the leader of the lok sabha the members of the lok sabha are directly elected by the people hence the president has to agree to the wishes of this house the prime minister is considered to be the leader of government it is the prime minister on whose advice other ministers are appointed or dismissed by the president ye prime minister ki hi advice hoti hai jis advice pe हमारे प्रेसिडेंट बाकी मिनिस्टर्स को डिसमिस करते हैं या उनको अपॉइंट करते हैं सो द बर्डन ऑफ द सक्सेस ऑफ और द फेलियर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट लाइज ऑन द शोल्डर ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज द लिंक बिटवीन द प्रेसिडेंट एंड द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर तो अगर हमारी गवर्नमेंट सक्सेसफुल है गवर्नमेंट इज सक्सेसफुल और इज देर इज एनी फेलियर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट so that all depend upon the prime minister means that is all the credit and the loss will be taken by the prime minister only as he takes the decision 
uh, to appoint any ministers or to dismiss any ministers. The prime minister is also the link between the council of the ministers and the president. Now, the last one is the council of ministers. The Council of Ministers works under the guidance of the Prime Minister, but the principle of collective responsibility is observed by it. It is, the responsible, it is responsible to Lok Sabha. All the ministers have a collective and individual responsibilities to the house of the people. Our Council of Ministers they are under the guidance of the Prime Minister. Also, they um, they are responsible to the Lok Sabha means whatever they are doing for all the work they have performed or for all the things they are doing, they are responsible to the Lok Sabha. The Council of Ministers may consist of about 60 members. The ministers are entrusted with the various departments of the central government. So my Council of Ministers is there are 60 members and the ministers are, they are interested with the various departments of the central government. Working of the Council of Ministers. The Council of Ministers works in the close cooperation under the leadership of the Prime Minister. It works like a team. All ministers, including the Prime Minister, are responsible to the Lok Sabha. Usually, there are about 60 members in the Council of Ministers. One can imagine that such a large number of ministers cannot meet often to take decisions regarding day-to-day -day matters of the administration. Therefore, the, for the sake of speedy work, the departments of the central government are placed under different ministers. For example, the Railway Ministry looks after the working of the Railway Ministry. Basically, our members are Council of Ministers, there are 60 members. Hai. So, it means he work will be more up with Nesari Loguka daily or decision he takes up there. And also, 60 ministers, 60 members, it means he 60 various departments. So, what what was what has been done that for particular department, for example, the example is given of railway ministry. So, railway ministry. Ka, Workings, we have the railway ministers. Okay. Similarly, for looking after the uh, education system, like what uh, policy should be followed or what uh, how is to how the things has to be done in the schools and how what uh, what pattern should be followed in the schools. So all these things. All these workings are being decided by the education minister. So we have various ministers for the various departments. Then talking about the civil service, we have seen that the cabinet decides the major issues and policies, but most of the execution part is left to the minister concern. Jo bhi mare cabinets hote wo decide karte hain, like they decide the major issues and policy. Like in the execution ki baat aati, like when is to be, when finally this, the decision has to be executed, means uh, the decision has to be followed. So that part is left with the concerned ministers. To be particular department ke concerned ministers hote and they take the final decision, means they take whether the thing has to be executed or not. The minister in charge formulates policies and decides certain guidelines. The rest is left to the civil servants. This body of civil servants executes the laws at the public level. They are not members of any political party. 
they are expected to be impartial in the implementation of a policy or a law. So it's expect kiya jata hai that whenever they are implementing the policies, jo bhi policies or laws implement ho rahe, for that they have to be impartial. Means partiality karenge, so we might not uh, implement some laws or we might implement that law. Agar hum partial ho jayenge, kisi ek society or any part of society ke mein ke, so we will be not taking a fair decision we are not implementing a fair policy so we they are expected that whatever the policy is being implemented or whatever the laws being implemented they should be impartial they should be done by being impartial so in this uh, diagram also you can see that uh, on the top we have the president then we have the vice president then we have prime ministers and council of ministers so this is how the hierarchy of the union executive kya hierarchy follow hoti hai so president vice president prime minister and the council of ministers Okay, so this was all about your chapter. In this chapter, we have talked about the composition of the union executive. But before that, let's just go through this list of the prime ministers of India. So our first prime minister was Jawaharlal Nehru. He was there from August 15, 1947 to May 27, 1964. Then on the second number, we had Gulzari Lal Nanda. He was there. Uh, before that, Jawaharlal Nehru was there for uh, four and what almost eighteen years. No, almost seventeen years. He was there for seventeen years. Then Gulzari Lal Nanda was there from May 27, 1964 to June 9, 1964. So then uh, there was a break. Then Lal Bahadur Shastri came. He was there from June 9 to 1964 to Jan 11, 1966 for two years. Then Gulzari Lal Nanda again came. So he was there then from Jan 16 to Jan 24. Only for few days, like 14-15 days. Then Indra Gandhi came, or the fourth number, Indra Gandhi. Indra Gandhi was our first lady prime minister. She was the first lady prime minister and probably the only lady prime minister till now. Indra Gandhi was there from Jan 24 to 1966 to March 24, 1977. Only for one year, uh, uh, she was there for 11 years. Then Morarji Desai, he was there for from March 24, 1977 to July 28, 1979. Six is Chaudhary Charan Singh, that is July 28, 1979 to July 14, 1980. Then again, Indra Gandhi came. He, she was there from July 14, 1982 to October 31, 1984. After her, Rajiv Gandhi came. He was there from October 31st, 1984 to December 2nd, 1989. Then on 8th, we, uh, 8th number, VP Singh came. He was there from December 2, 1989 to November 10, 1990. Only for one year he was there. Then came Chandrasekhar. So Chandrasekhar was there from November, November uh, 10, uh, 1990 to June 21, 1991. 
then P V Narasimha Rao came from June twenty one ninety one to May sixteen nineteen ninety six. After that, Atal Bihari Bajpayee came from May sixteen to May sixteen nineteen ninety six to June one nineteen ninety six. H D Deva Godwa he was there from June first to nineteen ninety six to April twenty one nineteen ninety seven. Inder Kumar Gujral. He was there from April twenty one, nineteen ninety seven, to March nineteen ninety eight. Then again, Atal Bihari Vajpayee came. He was there for from March nineteen ninety eight to May twenty two, two thousand four. Then Dr. Manmohan Singh came. He was there from May twenty two two thousand four to May twenty six two thousand forty for ten years. He ruled there for ten years. Then Narendra Modi, who is the present Prime Minister, is there from two thousand fourteen May twenty six two thousand forty. Okay, so this is this is the list of the prime ministers, and we have already talked about the list of president also. Okay, so this was all about your chapter. We are going to start with the book exercise in the next class. So that's all for today. Thank you and take care.